Thanks for joining Borders Pacific Northwest. Here's some footage of our Airbnb in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. We flew from Portland International Airport to Guadalajara and I hired a driver to take us to the Airbnb in Ajijic. It was about a 45 minute drive. He was so lovely, he stopped so we could get burritos on the way because we hadn't eaten all day. But you can see that we have a pool, it has four bedrooms, it has a patio area, absolutely beautiful. It's beautifully decorated. You can tell the folks that own this traveled around the world because they have their art up everywhere. This is out in front of our Airbnb. You can see that the roads are cobblestone, which are kind of hard to walk on. So I try and walk on the sidewalk whenever possible. There you can see the garage and it has a huge entryway to get into the beautiful house. Here you can see us walking um, to the town square in Ahihik. Every which way we turned, there was murals. They're so beautiful. I was so excited just to walk around and take everything in, the different plants, the different houses. They're done beautifully. Some are very bright colors. This is actually my favorite. It's the dog mural on the walk to the town square from our Airbnb. Our Airbnb is about 15 minutes from the town square. Not bad. And if you take a different route each time, you find different things, different little restaurants, places to stop. We took some side streets and you can see all the different colored houses. Like it is just so beautiful. I was also surprised that there were trash bins everywhere so people could put in their recycling and their trash. This is a picture of the church in the square. And here you can see some more murals off to the left and a fruit stand that we just walked by. After um, walking in the morning, we decided to stop and get breakfast. That's on our day after we arrived. It was fantastic. It was one of those little places on a side street where you roll up the door and this beautiful, lovely lady was cooking breakfast with her family, I believe. So yeah, this is the town square. Absolutely beautiful too. Lots of action going on. Lots of expats. I was just amazed at all the colors and the plants, all the bright flora and just little kids running around and everyone just seemingly so happy.
not far off from the town square. Um, you can get to Lake Japala on a little side street. And down there, there was another market with various things, fruits, vegetables, bracelets, just handmade things from the locals. I love this area. The wind is always blowing down there, so it felt a lot cooler. Not that it was that hot, but it's a little more humidity than I'm used to. You see in this video, this bird it just caught my eye it was so pretty and in a later video you'll see a closer shot of one just sitting on a rope right beside me just beautiful out in front of our airbnb is where you can go horseback riding it's legit right there and the guys are really nice and you can see them running up all the horses in the evenings and the dogs running along beside them the dogs i believe are strays i'm not quite sure but they're super friendly too so i like to give them a pat when i walk by And here you'll see Donna's Donuts. This was a recommendation from someone we chatted with on the street and asked them where a good place for breakfast was. It was very cute. And my relative, Lexia, is there. She's super happy. She didn't mind being in the video, so I have her in here a few times. And a few more stray dogs. You encounter, encounter so many dogs on the walk. I just love it. And they're friendly, too. They're definitely not starving. People are feeding them. This is my favorite, my second favorite mural um, besides the dog mural. It's just so beautiful. And as you can see on all the buildings, there's paintings and murals. Every time I go down the street, I see something different and I want to just stop and take a look. This is the coffee shop where I'm working on this video. And you can buy beans from Oaxaca in here. And it's a super friendly place. They have Wi-Fi. A lot of locals, you can tell, get together during the day and have coffee and chat together. I just thought it was super cute. And when you walk outside um, the exit there, you'll see in a minute, it's just a beautiful church. Bam, like right there. We could actually hear the bells ringing while we were sitting there having coffee. So I really enjoyed it. And here you'll just see... A meal we had, a Mexican meal, of course, and then we're going to enter um, a market in West Ahik, the Lake Chapala market. So we're here at the Lake Chapala Farmer's Market. We actually took an Uber to get here. It was only $3 from our Airbnb. And the first thing I spotted was tamale. So I got two chicken with green chili and two with red chili. So I got four. And then I had some rice pudding, which I've already eaten. Oh my gosh, there's just so many pretty murals. This is just so beautiful. We're in Lake Chapala. We took a Uber to get here. It didn't take us very long. It was super cheap. these guys the last time we spent a month in uh, Lake Chapala and Ahihik and I found it fascinating so all four of these guys climb up the pole and the rope is wrapped around this spindle thing and of course they have to have it wrapped around themselves in a certain position and as they go around and around and around it lowers um, and gets lower and lower and lower to the ground until they can finally stand on the ground. Thank you. 
place is really close to our Airbnb and I was here when we spent a month in Mexico, geez, three years ago before the pandemic. trail that we're on in Ahihik has these markings so you know which way the trail goes. Pretty sure I'd be off track by now if not. Alexi and I just got up early this morning. The rest of the family sleeping. We got up at 7 and started walking about 7.15 to come up on this trail that Alexi found and I just turned around on the trail and I was like oh, oh, and that's the view we got of the lake with the sun coming up. It's fantastic. Alexia, this is your first time out of the country. What are your initial thoughts of Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico? It is so beautiful. The culture here is amazing. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. Um, it really gives me more of an understanding of the people that I have met back home who aren't naturally from my culture. Um, and it's just been really eye-opening and I feel so invited. Everybody's been so welcoming. <laughs> Be a star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying tequila. Okay, this is the white. Okay, this is one. Done for me though, thank you. You don't like it, the tequila? No. <laughs> oh, very good. Gracias, señora. Okay. She already downed it. <laughs> what makes them different, the two kinds? Yeah, this is the reposado. Okay. This is the reposado. In the, in the last year, in Guanajuato, the reposado is the second place. Is the win the second place. Ah. Okay. So the old bottle for the reposado is the silver. Okay. Alexia, what is your favorite part about Ajijic so far? So we get back to the first uh, for the first question, just the culture. I've seen so many amazing things, like um, like the ritual where they were swinging down from the pole and they were playing the flute upside down. That was incredible. All of the art, the art, art has been amazing. And everybody's been so friendly and inviting. And have you learned any Spanish while you've been here? I have. It's unlocked. Uh, it's unlocked a part of my brain from when I was in school. Nice. <laughs>